boxing fans is and here here to do another boxing analysis this is a post fight analysis between Adrian Apollo Broner and uh, as they say what's his name again Cabbage Reeves no I'm not gonna be disrespectful his name is Galvin Reeves and um, Broner did what he did he talked a whole lot of shit backed it up he brought the brush with him got the brush in his hair you know you know trying to get his waves together whatever I mean, it's just funny, man. Like, um, he makes fun of his opponents, and he does what he does in the ring. I mean, the guy's skill is bar none top, you know. He does what he, he does, and uh, came out rapping, and had his little song or whatnot. I just feel that Broner needs to face, you know, his promoters. Cause it's not Broner. You guys need to get off Broner's case about uh, Adrian saying, oh, uh, he don't want to fight the best. He does want to fight the best out there, but... He's only 22 or 23 years old, so he has all the time in the world to take his time. If he wants to fight, it's it's really not that that difficult, guys. Like, if everybody got to pick their fights, then you'll really get to see who faces who. Um, you know what I'm saying? But Broner is just facing whoever they put in the ring with him. Um, he's called out gamblers and you know certain people. Uh, he said Brandon Rios and get all different people like that. Uh, he said, um, just anybody at 140, he said he's going to move up to 140, 2014. And, um, and right now he says he just want to have like about three or four fights this year, stay active. Um, his coach said he wants him to fight every three months from what I believe. So every three months, you'll probably see uh, Adrian Broner being in the ring and uh, showcasing his skills. Now the thing is, I want to see him face somebody that's top, you know, like I say, top three, because I think Galvin Reeves is like top six, top five, which is very good for the division, don't get me wrong. Um, he's a former world champion uh, with a record of 37-1, and one, one draw. I think he has like, yeah, yeah, he has two losses now because Adrian knocked him out in the fifth round. Like I told you guys, you look at my uh, first analysis, and I did say that um, Galvin Reeves, you know, knocked out Ricky Brown, which he didn't. I just did that to throw a loophole, see how much you guys knew about boxing and see if you guys were up on your knowledge about boxing. Um, I do silly stuff like that from time to time. I know my stuff. Like I said, I watch boxing probably more than the average person. Like I said, I box myself. So, um, what I really wanted to say was you guys tell me what you think in the comment section below about who do you think Adrian the problem bonus should face and who can be the solution or the answer to the problem. Right now, I don't see anybody. He, at least from when he came in the ring, he's 150. That looked accurate. Um, Gavin Reeves, 152. So they, I uh, use about 150, somewhere around at 152. And uh, Gavin Reeves, so much shorter. I mean, it was ridiculous. And I knew his body was there to be hit, and, and that would break him down. Adrian found a sweet spot um, in the fifth round. He looked for him to duck his head down like he does a lot, and uh, probably looked the whole. It thought the ref was gonna like. Spread them guys apart. But Broner waited. He had his left guard like that. Waited, measured, uppercutted him perfect to the body. Just angled it. It was a real sweet angle. Um, I did say it was going to be by uppercut guys. If you look at my first video, and uh, I said it's going to be around fifth or sixth round. It was fifth round, and I mean, what do you expect? I mean, like I said, Broner's not a three-round fighter. You can't come in throwing 60, 70, 80 punches if you're not ready to handle what's going to be dished back at you because you, you can always train and throw 100 punches per round but are you ready for the power punches that come back to you because uh, Reeves had a very good chin I was impressed with his chin um, but I knew you know his bread basket down there was going to get enough getting hit a lot because Bone is a very good body puncher like I said once before um, he had a very good straight right hand lead that was beautiful all night really fast um, turned off the shoulder he was styling and profiling in the ring, you know, just having fun, kept doing like this. Every time Yavin Reed tried, I mean, hit him. Uh, Yavin Reed did a very good job, though. Let's not be blind to the fact. Yavin Reed threw great left hooks. He kind of almost had a little bit of the, blu the blueprint besides Ponce De Leon on how to uh, outmaneuver uh, Broner, which was very surprising in the first round. Um, Broner had not put his hands back up, too, and the referee had broke him up. I think it was second or third round, I can't, can't remember. But I remember uh, Broner was doing a lot of showboating and he ended up getting hit with a check. It was like a left hook, big left hook. 
And I'm just like, whoa, like, LeBron took it, shaked it off. So at least you know he has a very good chin. Anybody else that would have got hit with that, they probably would have went down. Um, another thing I could throw out there to you guys is um, Broner got hit in the back of the head, didn't complain. He could have been like, oh my God, why did you hit me in the back? Like, you didn't do all that. He kind of did the Brandon Rios approach. Okay, you wanted to hit me in behind my head? I'm going to hit you even harder with my straight right hand. So, um, The way to hit Broner those throw angles, like I said in the first um, you know, analysis, uh, you got to throw angles. You have to be timed, you have to be precise, you have to know exactly where you're punching at. If you don't and you miss, you're going to get counter and you're going to run into something you never want to run into. And that can be the check left hook that Adrian Moore has really short. It just, he just basically turns it over just perfect. Or he'll leave with that straight right. Like, and his left uppercut is dangerous to the body. And it's dangerous to the chin too if you duck your head down like this and you fight like this. It's kind of not a good style to fight like. It's he knows how to use angles, throw right hook, left hook, the whole nine. He throws everything, straight punches. So you have to be accurate, precise. Box a little bit. He, and he did that. Y'all yeah, already did that. He boxed him a little bit, but he didn't do enough of it. You want to get him off his game plan. Um, what I did notice that Gavin Reed did very, very well is he did a lot of head movement. Head movement, shoulder movement, footwork. Those are things you need to be a complete boxer if you're going to beat Adrian the Fallen Bowler and successfully beat him. Look at Ponce in the southpaw stand. He had good footwork, knew when to get in, when to get out. Did he get counter punch? Yes. But it was competitive throughout all the rounds that, that went through. Um, same thing with Galvin. The first three rounds, I was like, whoa, this is going to be a long night for Bruno. Because I thought about it, I'm like, I don't think Galvin Reese can do this for 12 rounds. And then my instincts started kicking back in, boxing instincts, and I was like, Adrian Bruno is going to break him down to the bottom. His, his corner is going to tell him underneath, 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 you know, underneath, underneath. And he's going to go underneath, and he's going to land the uppercut or some type of left foot to the body. And that's what happened. He went underneath, got to his body real well, got him out of there. That, uh, I think it was a straight right hand in I think it was the third round or fourth, whichever one. The Reeves fell back pretty hard, but he got up like a champ. You got to give him credit. I have much, much respect. For Wales fighters, any fighter that come over from uh, the UK, anywhere in Europe, and they come over here to fight, that shows a lot of commitment, a lot of heart, a lot of bravery, a lot of cojones. So, salute you. That's what's up. Good job, good effort. He came, he did say, he said he's going to do. He got him out of there. Reese, he tried his hardest. He did what he's supposed to do. He's trying, and hey, that's what happens. You get the short end of the stick sometimes. Big, uh, big ups to uh, his corner stopping the fight. That was smart. What's, what's the point of him taking any more punishment? But like I said, you guys tell me in the comment section below. I'm not going to talk anymore. Either Adrian Boner or uh, 